Hello mga kawamat! Sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to find the domain and range of rational functions. The domain of rational function f of x is equal to n of x over d of x is all the values of x that will not make d of x equal to 0. To find the range of rational function is by finding the domain of the inverse function. The other way is to find the range of rational function is to find the value of horizontal asymptote. At may other way pa, using the graph. First example, we have f of x is equal to 2 over x minus 3. Unang gagawin, kunin, tingnan natin yung denominator natin. So, x minus 3. So, ang gagawin lang natin kasi ang una natin kukunin ay yung domain ng rational function. Equate lang natin tong x minus 3 sa 0. So, x minus 3 is equal to 0. Lipat natin si negative 3 sa right side. Therefore, the value of x is 3. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Uh, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 3. Bakit? Kasi kapag naging 3 si x, magiging undefined yung function natin. Para mahanap naman yung range ng function, Unang gagawin natin, si f of x, papalitan natin ng y. So, magiging ganito. y is equal to 2 over x minus 3. Next dyan, interchange natin yung y saka x. Pagpapalit lang natin ng pwesto. So, si y magiging x, si x magiging y. And then, simplify natin. So, x times y minus 3 is equal to 2. And then, using the distributive property, multiply natin si x kay y and kay negative 3. So, x times y, that is x y. x times negative 3, that is negative 3x, is equal to 2. Since sinusolve natin dito yung value ng y in terms of x, si negative 3x kailangan natin ilipat sa right side kasi uh, ito yung kailangan natin. Masolve si y. So, therefore, xy is equal to 2 plus 3x. Dahil si negative 3x, pag nilipat natin doon, magiging positive 3x na. May kasama pa yung, ating, yung y natin. So, kailangan natin i-divide both sides yung, yung equation natin sa x. So, magiging ganito na. y is equal to 2 plus 3x over x. Ngayon, pag ganito na yung function natin, pwede na natin equate yung denominator natin. Ang denominator natin is x. So, therefore, our uh, value of x is 0. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? The range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. Ibig sabihin yan, kapag nag-0 ito, so magiging undefined. Since inverse ng, inverse ng domain yung hinahanap natin para makuha yung range, so yan yung uh, restriction. So the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. Another, f of x is equal to x minus 5 over x plus 2. Una, so kunin natin yung, value, uh, yung domain ng rational function. So, equate natin yung denominator natin. x plus 2 is equal to 0. Lipat si positive 2 sa kabilang side. So, x is equal to negative 2. Ibig sabihin, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except negative 2. So, kapag naging negative 2, and pag naging negative 2 yung x natin, magiging undefined yung function natin. Sunod natin gagawin, uh, kunin natin yung inverse ng function na to. So, first, Palitan na natin ng f of x ng y. So, y is equal to x minus 5 over x plus 2. And then, interchange natin itong dalawa magiging x is equal to y minus 5 all over y plus 2. And then, multiply natin itong x times y plus 2 is equal to y minus 5. Okay, multiply natin x times y. That is xy, x times 2, that is positive 2x is equal to y minus 5. So, Mayroon tayong y dito and then meron din tayong y. So, dapat pagsamahin natin yan. So, lipat natin si y dito sa left side. Si 2x naman, lipat natin doon sa right side. So, magiging xy minus y is equal to negative 5 minus 2x. Ngayon, itong xy minus y, pwede natin to i-factor out. So, ano yung common factor ng dalawa? Y. So, xy divide y. The, may matitirang x Negative y divide y That is negative 1 And then 
Para makuha natin yung value ng y, i-divide natin both side by x minus 1. Ngayon, kung ganito na yung function natin, equate na natin yung denominator natin. So, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, yung x natin is positive 1. Ibig sabihin niyan, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 1. Another, f of x is equal to x minus 4 times x plus 2 all over x minus 3 times x minus 1. Meron tayong dalawang factors sa denominator natin. So, equate natin yan isa-isa. Unahin natin sa x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, lipat natin si negative 3 sa right side. So, yung value ng x ay positive 3. Next, yung x minus 1. x minus 1 is equal to 0. Lipat si negative 1 sa kabilang side. So, x is equal to 1. Therefore, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 3 and 1. So, dapat hindi maging positive 3 yung x natin dyan at maging positive 1. Kasi magiging undefined yung function natin. Okay, in this case, gagamitin natin yung concept ng horizontal asymptote. So, may tatlo tayong tatandaan dyan. We represent n as the exponent of numerator. Yung m naman, exponent ng denominator. So, kapag ang exponent daw ng numerator ay mas mababa sa exponent ng denominator, ang value ng y natin ay 0. Pero kapag equal ang exponent ng numerator at ang exponent ng denominator, we use this, y is equal to a over b. And then, kapag ang n natin o yung exponent ng numerator ay less than or greater than sa exponent ng denominator there is no horizontal asymptote so ito ay another way para hanapin natin yung range ng rational function okay kasi hindi lahat na apply rin to kasi may restriction din now uh, bago natin makuha yung value ng range natin dito ibig sabihin expand muna natin to kasi nakaganito siyang format. So, para ma-expand natin, pwede kayo gumamit ng FOIL method. So, magiging ano na yan, x squared minus 6x minus 8 all over x squared minus 4x plus 3. Para ma-apply natin to saan tayo titingin? Sa exponent ng numerator and denominator. Since equal ang exponent ng numerator and denominator natin, Ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin to So, y is equal to a over b. Kukunin natin yung numerical coefficient. Ibig sabihin nung a, numerical coefficient ng numerator. And then yung b, numerical coefficient ng denominator. So, since ang numerical coefficient ng numerator is 1, ganun din sa denominator is 1. So, y is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 1. Okay, another example para masundan nyo yung concept ng horizontal asymptote. So, we have f of x is equal to 3x minus 9 all over x squared minus x minus 6. So, may trinomial tayo sa denominator. Kailangan muna natin i-factor out yan. So, magiging ganito yan. 3x minus 9 all over x minus 3 times x plus 2. So, ito yung factor ni x squared minus x minus 6. So, kagaya kanina, so may dalawa tayong factor. So, equate natin yan isa-isa. Unahin natin si x minus 3 equal to 0. So, lipat sa kabila si negative 3, magiging positive 3. Next, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Lipat si positive 2 sa kabilang side. X is equal to negative 2. Ibig sabihin, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 3 and negative 2. So, gamit naman yung concept ng horizontal asymptote, tingin tayo sa exponent ng numerator and denominator natin. So, the highest degree dito is 1. Sa denominator naman, 2. Ibig sabihin, mas mababa ang exponent ng numerator natin sa exponent ng denominator natin. Therefore, ang y natin is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin niyan, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. Okay, this is the last example. f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Okay, so again, trinomial siya. So, kailangan natin siya i-factor out muna natin. So, the factor out of that is 3x plus 1 
times x minus 3 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 4. So, equate natin isa-isa yung denominator natin. So, unahin natin si 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Lipat natin si negative 1 sa right side and then divide both side by 2. So, yung x natin is 1 half. Sa kabila naman, si x plus 4 equal to 0. So, lipat si positive 4, that is negative 4. Ibig sabihin, the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 1 half and negative 4. Okay, class. Aside sa pagkuha ng inverse ng function at paggamit ng concept ng horizontal asymptote, pwede rin natin makuha yung range natin using the graph. Okay, kapag rinap natin nyo using uh, uh, Desmos or ibang graphing app, pwede nyo ito ma-download sa mobile phone nyo, makikita nyo na agad yung graph ng function natin. So, as you can see class, walang restriction sa value ng y natin. Ibig sabihin, the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers. Again, pwede nyo ito i-download Desmos. That is a graphing app na pwede nyong gamitin which is pag uh, in-insert nyo lang to o tinipe nyo yung function na to uh, makikita nyo na agad yung graph nyan so nakikita nyo walang restriction sa value ng y ito yung y natin so therefore yung range nyan is set of all real numbers thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial this is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.